Time to get back to tonight's challenge. We've all bought supercars for less than £10,000. We're doing a number of challenges with them as we go on one of our, frankly, epic voyages from uh, Bristol here to a lap dancing bar in Slough about here. Yeah. When you look at it like that, it's not exactly the most arduous journey ever no. undertaken, no. is it? Nevertheless, it's taken us half a day to get to uh, about here and so far we've learnt that James's Lamborghini is rubbish, Jeremy's Maserati is slow and my Ferrari isn't is... a Ferrari. It is! It is not a Ferrari! Teeth, be quiet. It, uh, it Let's is! Let's get back to the action. While you were away the cars had their tanks drained and were then given 25 litres to get them to the lap dancing club in Slough, 96 miles away. To get to Slough, with the fuel we've just put in, we have to average 17 miles to the gallon. Apparently, yes. Which in a normal car... No problem. Piece of cake. These aren't entirely normal no. cars. To make matters worse, it had become obvious that the lack of cars in the had hurt my engine. Now, this is a half-French, half-Italian car. That's a worry. You see, when the French and the Italians come together to do cooking, that's great. When they come together to make a car, run. It run for your life. Now, I'm following Jeremy in his Maserati. I'm doing 48 miles an hour, and I get the distinct impression that he's going flat out. Look at that, overtake. <laughs> For our next challenge, we had to go to a service centre. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't that, do that. That'll, that'll help. Oh. Right, <laughs> challenge, I think. It's yeah. just a bit tappity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the way that um, both ends. a dumper truck is. Yeah. Right. That would stall. You are now in a race. With no outside help, each of you must change the oil in your car oh, no. and all the spark plugs. These are it. Actually, come to think of it, you've got a V6, we've got V8. Well, you've got That's six spark plugs, but I've never held a spanner in my life. Well, he has, but that's unlike old British motors. All I have to do now is demonstrate to you two why I'm a doctor of engineering twice. The good doctor then started work on his spark plugs oh, rather than changing again. his oil, which was actually quite deep. Well, no, you'll need to be hot for the oil to drain because it's thin. Otherwise, you get big broken bits. In your case, full of metal hanging around in the bottom of your head. Oddly, James began by doing housework. The bonnet is eating my head. James. So the good doctor came up with an engineering solution. <laughs> Meanwhile, James had got going and got stuck. Don't see what I'm going to do with that. While Jeremy had resorted to oh. shouting. Come on! Come on! That sounds like I'm in a porn film. <sighs> Their problem was inaccessible spark plugs. Ow. Ow. Not something that was trying to look very easily. Actually, not me. I don't want to win my team. Oh, I can't get at this one. Oh, look, it's obscured by this lead. You've got mechanics butt cheek, do you know that? After a brisk 50 minutes, Dr. Clarkson had finished changing his plugs. Yes! All six. And set about making a mess of his oil change. That went well. Meanwhile, James was being pedantic. And I was hampered by height issues. Seven! The race to the finish was between me and the doctor. Yes. Yo! First to start their engine. We've got the times. They're saying five seconds. One hour, 13 minutes, point two for you. Yeah. 13.25 for me, half a second. I may have made a bit of a mess there. Meanwhile. I'm quite happy doing this if you'd like to sod off. <laughs> It became clear that the pit stop hadn't really done my Maserati much good. 
That's a great sound. Our next challenge was in the town of Marlborough. All I had to do was get there. Got all the dials here. My oil temperature, minus 20. Fuel, depends on what sort of corner I'm going round. Time, wrong. Battery, wrong. Never mind, could be worse. This time, James had broken down outside a school. At lunchtime. <laughs> what has he done? <laughs> the best thing we can do uh, to help James now is just go. Right. Yes. <laughs> Locals could sense the tension of an upcoming three-way deal. Supercars are notoriously hard to see out of. They also have very heavy clutches and very heavy steering. So, which would be the easiest to park? Right, we have to park our supercars in this space against the clock. And Hammond's first, you ready? Go! This space is not big enough for this car. Is he going to hit? Yes. I'm about right! Hey! It's a point off! <laughs> Are you, like, looking where you're going or using the force? Yes! Two, two, two points. points. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for us, That's it, I'm parked! Uh, parked, have you? I'll go and... Perfect! I'll call a Shall cab I? and then you can walk. get to the curb. Have a little walk down the curb to Ooh. your car. One minute, 38.7. Go! Next, it was the turn of the Pauline Marat. 18 years I lived in London, making this a piece of cake. There you go! That's a touch. That um, wasn't a touch. Is it, is it heavy, mate? <laughs> Will the engine last as long as this manoeuvre? Oh, there, is that finished! That is so neat. One minute. One minute exactly.